Hi Leo, welcome to this reading. This is for Leo Sun, Moon and Rising. Um, you might find it resonates more if Leo is your Moon or Rising sign. Um, okay, so let's see. We have the Five of Swords. Okay, I'm already getting a difference in terms of how things seem on the outside and what this person's actually thinking and feeling within. Okay, we have Death in Reverse Scorpio energy here. Yeah, if there's been an argument between you, um, or at least it seems like there's some kind of conf conflict, things haven't been smooth, they haven't been harmonious, this person actually wants that cycle to end. But what I will say is it seems like they're not being particularly proactive about that right now. They're just doing lots of wishing and hoping. Yeah, wanting to move to the Three of Pentacles, which is teamwork. But look, not talking about it. King of Swords reversed. So they could be hoping and wishing that you will make the first move towards them. And you might be saying, absolutely not. See, the world reversed. This is someone who wants to close um, a, an existing cycle of maybe conflict or stress or confusion, but they're not speaking up. Um, I don't know if this is someone who is prideful or they worry that you might say it's too late. I don't know, we'll see how this goes, but definitely it's like I'm wishing upon a star but not taking action. Um, we've got Scorpio energy here with the world. I think as well, maybe for just a couple of you, distance could be an issue, like physical, geographical distance. We have the Ten of Cups reversed. <clears throat> mm, I wonder as well, there could be a message that the, the current cycle is in a bit of turmoil because you may have issued some kind of an ultimatum or this person might understand that, you know, things can't move forward with you, Leo until or unless they close out a cycle maybe in a previous um sorry in an existing dynamic in a current relationship um whether we're talking they're in a relationship a romantic relationship with someone or maybe it's their family getting involved in some way um and that hasn't closed out yet so that's why they're not speaking up they're wishing they're hoping yes ace of pentacles this person wants an opportunity with you a real grounded tangible opportunity if this is someone you're already married to or in a relationship with and you've had a falling out or some kind of a breakup what they actually want is to get back together here but i don't think they've told you okay yeah ten of swords reversed oh my gosh leo this person's sole focus their thoughts and feelings is i want to make up with leo i want a new beginning but i'm simply sitting here wishing hoping manifesting imagining I'm not speaking up. How it might look on the surface is that they are fine, they're not thinking about you, they're going on with life as usual. On the back we have the Eight of Pentacles, so they really want to work on this, to invest in this in a grounded, tangible way where you have visible markers of, of progress. Um, for example, we saw each other twice this week, we've got plans coming up in the future, I've met your friend, you've met mine, you know, like, like we can see that we've invested. Um, it could also be that you know each other through work or they really think about you, their mind wanders to you when they're at work or maybe if it's not work, you see all these pentacles are the same. Maybe when this person is doing some kind of repetitive activity or a chore or something, they think of you like if they're driving and it's the same route every day so their mind sort of switches off a bit, it, it moves towards you and what they would like to happen but they're not saying this to you. So that seems pretty clear. Let's jump straight into, I think, their intentions around action here and action they're likely to take because <clears throat> it doesn't seem that there's too much going on now okay please can you show us the intentions of this person towards leo and action any action they're likely to take towards leo at this time please also leo i don't know if in the past this person said something to you that was really mean or cutting or like yeah, just mean. It was below the belt. They shouldn't have said it. Or they might feel that you have said something cutting to them or you told them a truth about themselves. I'm just seeing here there could have been potential for, you know, the King of Swords is someone who's very good with words, but reversed, it's almost like the intention might be to cause damage or the effect, whether it, that was the intention or not, did cause damage with this Ten of Swords. But the reason I think, you know, someone could have said something that they felt was just simply true, even if it was painful to hear. So we have this sun that's rising. So it's almost like, look, you might not like this about yourself, but it will give you enough clarity that you can make a change. So I don't know if you said something to them, potentially. Um, 
I don't know. Let's, let's see. Okay, their intentions, please, and their action towards Leo at this time. <clears throat> Ooh, page of wands. So that's movement, that's action, that can be a message. Yeah, look, again, I don't know if you said something to this person that other people were, you know, just, just weren't telling them, because this salamander here is making me think of change, transformation. Something about this person has changed. Wow, the Emperor. Okay, we've got Aries energy there, but this is potentially some serious levelling up. The world in the reverse. I wonder if you have the opinion of this person that when they want something, they go for it. And if they're not coming towards you, I guess that must mean they're not, you know, passionate enough or interested enough. But I think, Leo, you're the only person or one of the few people that humbles this person and makes them feel nervous. Um... We have the two of wands reversed. Okay, it's looking like action is coming. Um, I don't think it's going to be simple or easy for this person. They're going to overthink it. They might mess up a bit as in if they plan out in their head how they're going to do this, what they're going to do, what they're going to say. They might come forward and fumble their words or if they think they're going to see you every Tuesday, somehow they don't and they see you Wednesday and they weren't ready, but they go for it anyway. It just feels a bit messy. Um, but two of wands reversed is I'm taking that leap of faith. I'm going for it. And look, we've got the world reversed twice. So you see how it's a big concern. They want to close the cycle out. But then this two of wands, you see he's holding the world. And when it's reversed for me, it's like I'm no longer thinking about which decision. I'm making a decision. So this person is taking the matter into their own hands and saying, I'm going to try and close out this cycle. I'm not going to sit here and wait. I'm not just going to wish upon a star anymore. We have the page of pentacles reversed. Yeah, see, it's, it's a bit messy. Um, maybe they come forward and you have a passionate interaction or, you know, a conversation or something, or they seem really energised, and then they just leave, and you're thinking, well, what was that about? You know, it didn't necessarily go anywhere, and then they leave, and they're like, oh, I forgot to say the main thing, or I didn't, you know, ask Leo if they want to do such and such, because there's panic here. Yes, yeah, you look, this pentacle they want to give you, but it's almost like they leave still holding on to it. Um, we have the Eight of Pentacles reversed. Definitely could be a work connection here um, for some of you. Do you know what? It also, I'm getting a specific message that if this person's self-employed, they might schedule, you know, their work on a particular day so they can take time out during the day and come and see you. Um, I mean, that would be for everyone. Okay, yeah, Three of Pentacles. Hold on, did we not? Yes, we have that here, same column. Okay, so the intentions, um, Leo, of this person are to finally realize, you know, I'm an emperor. I have I have um, courage, I have strength here. Um, is to take matters into their own hands and not be idle and not just wait and hope for an ending to this cycle that has, you know, ended maybe painfully or is, is leaving them in pain and you may be in confusion they're saying, right, I'm going to do something about it. And I actually see a message or some kind of movement or action. But again, as I said, it feels a bit messy. It feels like they forget something. They forget to say something, to give something, to leave something with you, to suggest something. And then we have the Empress. Well, there we go. The Emperor and the Empress. And I wonder, you know, as I said, this is, this is someone who is humbled by you. They might feel nervous around you. They might not ordinarily be that way, but they are with you. And it's also why they're saying, okay, let me be courageous and let me do this because it's worth it. This is my empress. So we've got Taurus and we've got um, Libra energy here. <clears throat> well, there we go. I mean, this could also be divine masculine, divine feminine. You might resonate with this as being your twin. They could think that way about you or like a very high vibrational soul connection. But the intention of this person is to close out the old cycle, start a new one, for you both to be on the same page here and really to come together as the emperor and the empress. Um, interesting energy I'm getting from you, Leo. It doesn't feel hugely emotional. Um, it could just be this person's dominating the energy because I am asking about them, but also they're very in their head about this. Um, I don't, I think what I'm feeling intuitively is that in the past you were pretty torn up about this, but it's almost like the more time that has gone on, the more you're kind of, um, there's a feeling of pride coming through not arrogance but pride like you have pride within yourself and it's almost like really 
that's how you're gonna treat me? But, I mean, do you not see my worth? I'm an empress, come on. Um, I just, I don't feel loads and loads of, like, not like huge amounts of fresh raw pain. And I don't really feel like you're pushing for anything here or that your focus is even primarily on this person, or at least that's not how it's coming across. You know, you're not doing things in the 3D to suggest that. Um, it's almost like a, an alignment, a peacefulness, like I know my worth and what happened really wasn't okay. Um, and I'm not chasing, I'm not chasing anyone. Okay, yes, look, Nine of Pentacles. I feel like this is you in your garden with your wine or whatever your drink is here that you like and you've got your book and, you know, your snacks and you're just taking time for yourself, doing your own thing. Okay, so um, let's get messages from this person to you. What would they like to say, please, Spirit? What would this person like to say to Leo at this time? Whoops. This person like to say to Leo at this time? I cry myself to sleep and toss and turn over this situation. Yeah, and that's the energy that I don't feel like you're in, at least not anymore. I miss you so much, it's killing me not to reach out. See, all that, that procrastination, wishing upon a star. Um, I love you so much. I also know this isn't the time for us to happen yet. This is the energy they've been in. I will wait. Divine intervention, divine timing. And now they're saying enough of this. I'm going to try and make this happen. <clears throat> I will try and close out this cycle. Hey, I've been seeing so many signs and synchronicities that remind me of you. It's unreal. It's made me feel certain you are the one for me and we have a bright future. Exactly. The emperor and the empress working together here. I just have to figure out how to follow them. Yeah, and they will mess up a bit, but they're going to try. Um, I feel the signs and synchronicities has been their higher self saying to them, yes, divine timing is a thing, but you're actually slipping into complacency. Um, we've been giving you signs. That's the divine intervention. Um, follow them. Take action in the 3D. I think they're finally understanding this now. Um... Trust me, I'm just as frustrated as you. I just have to figure out some things before I can make this right. I don't want to involve you in all the boring, dramatic details. Just know I've got this. Yeah, so it might look on the surface like this person's unaffected, um, and that has been frustrating. Okay, <clears throat> you've done nothing wrong. I'm just figuring things out. I love you, I want you, I'm coming for you. Please just be a bit more patient with me. I'll make this up to you later. Okay. So clearly they're figuring something out. We have that twice, back to back. Okay, so let's see. Let's get some final messages for you from this person. Absence, I feel like a part of me is missing without you. Forgiveness, I'm struggling to get over the past. Yeah, this Ten of Swords. It could just be they've been sitting in the energy of, you know, reminiscing, thinking about what happened, thinking about how painful it was. Or as I said, if you really spoke a truth to them, it really hit home because they view you as, you know, <clears throat> they see you as the empress. Um, so if you say something, they know it's it's valuable, it's serious, it's, it's insightful and perceptive. Um, and you're saying it because you want... You know, you're not you're not coming from a mean place here. You're you're coming from a place of, look, I'm going to tell you this because I think you're getting in your own way here, or you're you're coming across in this way to the world, and I don't think you know it. You know that sort of thing. Um, so they they really have thought about it if you said something to them, and even though they may not have liked it at the time, I think there's a, an appreciation that you actually said this to them, and they were able to make some kind of change based off of what you said. Okay. <clears throat> What was this? Uh, runner, I don't want to run anymore. I'll put it back because it didn't properly come out. But yeah, they are saying in the past they may have, have been a runner. Um, third party, there were other things that got in the way of us being together. Um, that could be something they're working out with these dramatic details that they don't want to drag you into. Okay. 
Anyone else, please? Self love, I am still trying to heal. Do you know what I think this is really talking about? The fact that you are in this place of self love, which is exactly what I feel from you. You're not on the floor, you know, hammering your fists into the ground and crying over this and tearing out your hair. Um, you may still feel some kind of way about this, but even so, you have self pride, you have self love. Um, you maybe have gone through a huge period of cycling here and you're sort of closing out that. Did I just say a huge period of cycling? <laughs> Maybe you like to cycle. A huge period of healing and you're about to sort of close out that cycle and move in, into a cycle of, of growth, abundance, or you have done that and that's what they're seeing. Um, also, just to say, if this person had you in a third party and they were wishy-washy about choosing, you may have been like, okay, I'm, you know, let me make this decision for you. Clearly, you're not seeing my worth. Um, I respect the decision you're making or not, but I'm just going to leave you to it either way. I'm not begging anyone here. <clears throat> oh, look, shadow side. You made me realize my flaws. Yeah, exactly. And I didn't like it. But now that I have gotten over my ego and I've made a change, what I don't like now is how I behaved when I was acting from my shadow side. Okay, so I will leave this here, Leo. So thank you for watching. I hope there were some messages here for you. Um... And yeah, I'll be back soon. Bye.